That pretty little lady Standing there oh, With your rich brown skin And afro hair yeah. And oh I see you brother And now the young king But keep your head smart Heart strong and never give in huh. See growing up around town I saw some things won't leave my mind There were trails of addiction And trials of mass conviction In the so-called world that's colorblind Boys turn into men And men turn into beasts How could a system go so wrong? I learned I was mistaken, humanity misplaced And profit over progress all along And so I sing, and so I sing, and so I sing Oh pretty little lady, yeah Standing there Oh with your rich brown skin and Afro hair And oh, I see you brother Another young king But keep your head smart, heart strong And never give in yeah. so, um, The system doesn't work for them They feel they almost were um, disenfranchised yeah. You know, um, well, that's really what that song that when we were mucking about before. That's what that song's about, and I'm glad. I'm glad I, I ended up playing it because it's been a good, good kind of thing to talk about. Um, and plus, free banter for you. <laughs> but um, I was on the subway in New York, and um, I'd been playing for hours, and I just got that proper board, and I was just like playing about. And I, I, so, there were times when I was playing with a, a guy called Anthony Thomas, who's an incredible poet, and. Um, Hip hop artist, and uh, we were just like mucking about. It was like minus fifteen underground, and then above was like minus twenty two. Anyway, it's proper cold, and we're like, ah, we were making no money, and so I was just like mucking about, and and then there was a lady across the platform, really, really black skin, really dark skin, and this huge afro, and at first I just started singing this song. Like, a lady. Standing there, <laughs> and um, she didn't realise I was writing about her, and I was—I wasn't trying to move to her. I just thought like it'd be cool if she knew that I was writing about her right there. So I just carried on, and it and it it naturally grew into the song it did because it was such a strong image, and it just made me think like what it meant to me sitting there, um, and this the image a lot of the time that we see in music and just just in the world in general is and I, it's not just about black people i think or people of african descent i think society a lot of the time does this in general oppress who you really are we don't we, we don't want to know who you really are what we want is you to confine to a group think that will empower us to to basically be able to manipulate your freedoms and and deal with you as as you wish it just so happens that in the structure we're in now as Africa, people of African origin, we're at the bottom. Um, and so, for me, like you say, having some of the experiences that we've had growing up, it was such a strong image, and I was just like, my God. And I remember being like in primary school and being hating myself so much, um, and just being so, like you say, disenfranchised with the experience of being black. I hated my lips, I hated my hair, I hated my skin, I hated everything. And um, and there's a lot of young black people in, in Britain and in the whole diaspora and in Africa as well actually that have that same relationship with themselves and no, babies don't come out of the womb hating themselves or hating anything and so this is a learned process of thought that you can teach a child how to hate their experience, how to hate them and basically buy into what your image of the accepted version of them is um, but deep down you know it's not true so you've got this constant conflict of like the only way I can get by is by subjecting myself to this but I know it's not true, but what's the alternative? 
And so there's this constant, constant, constant frustration. And I think there's a lot of young people, like you say, that get disenfranchised, that get frustrated, and they don't have the awareness or the education to inform how to 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 to, to deal with it. And f I was fortunate that I got brought up the way I, I was. And even me, even having that, I still hated myself. Because the reality is, it doesn't matter how much you learn, like how much you understood about who you were, where you came from, how much you understood about the world around you, did it change how, f how things manifested? Like, you, we, the, 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 the stats and the figures that are out there to do with education, to do with the prison system, to do with violence, to do with poverty, to do with um, uh, just generally, uh, what's the word? The, the social and economic position of, of um, the group that we're in in this country um, doesn't change. You're still impacted by that. And that was another later lyric in it where it says, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't pulled out of the gut. I had my father and my mother, integrity and goodness we were shown. But it never seemed to matter. All that ever really mattered was, was media's identity bestowed. Like, I wasn't, I weren't born, I wasn't a hood you, I wasn't a killer, I wasn't any of the things that society told you that I was. Yeah. And, I knew, and still to this day, there's so many young black men and black women in the same position um, and you know I tried to be well spoken when when I could <laughs> um, and still it made no difference women still even to this day bruv I'm a big man I'm 23 years old I pay my taxes yeah I don't I, I dress I never got my hood up nothing and still today I walk down the street and women will walk on the other side of the world women will grab their bags beside me I, my heart still beats when I see a billy van and I'm 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 legit I'm a, I'm a singer-songwriter, look! <laughs>